praise God. Just in a quick video, um, in uh, John chapter 21 verses 15, uh, the, in the New King James Version, it has a title that says, Jesus restores Peter. For we all know, uh, before Jesus' death, Peter had denied him three times. So, Jesus restored him three times. But how did he restore him? Let us read. So when they had eaten breakfast, the breakfast that Jesus made for them, uh, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah. Now, just a quick pause right there. We know, we all know he called him Peter. And the, the title says, Jesus restores Peter. But now he's calling him Simon. Simon was the name that that that, uh, that, 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 that this man was known by. This is like talking about the old nature. So Jesus is relating him to the old nature. He's saying, I know your weaknesses. I know that I, as you're weak, but I'm still calling your name. Jesus knows your weaknesses. He knows that you're still falling short. But he still calls you, even with that name that you, that that, uh, that may be called of you by other people. You know, that's how we called Jacob. He said, Jacob, I know you. I know you as Jacob. And then he called him Israel as well. So God has a name that he calls us. But then sometimes he will call us by the name that the world calls us or by the name of our failures. So that he shows us that even when you're still called that name, even when you're still wearing all those weaknesses, I still love you and I still want to build on this rock. So he says, uh, he, he called him and said, Simon, son of Jonah, and even to shows him where he belongs because we're all children of God. But then he says, okay, you are the man who belongs this side. You're, you're the man who, like he, he will call you by where you belong, by what you've done, where you've been. But then he says, I know where, where I'm taking you at. He knows all that, but still he overlooks it just because he knows Jesus doesn't look at uh, how perfect you are he looks at what you can do for Simon indeed became a pillar yes he did so he says do you love me more than this he asks him because remember Simon was always Peter and Simon was always boosting of his love for the Lord so he says do you love me more than this he said to him yes Lord you know that I love you Jesus said, feed my lambs. So, do you love me more than this? That actually uh, focuses on f focuses on what matters most, what, what matters to you most. Because at times you're going to meet people with whom they, like you both claim, you all claim that you love the Lord. You all claim you're serving the same God. And then you start contending with them. It's never about those people. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. He said to him a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said, tend my sheep. You know, first it was feed my lambs, now tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he has said to him the third time, do you love me? But remember, Peter denied Jesus three times. So how did Jesus feel? Sometimes we look at... Uh, how we feel when the Lord takes us through some questioning or some hard testing. But how do we make the Lord feel when we do deny him? Because we've all denied him at a certain point. We've all denied his truth. And those who claim they have never denied him, they have been walking right. Those are the Pharisees. And the Pharisees are still living today. So Peter was grieved because he called him the third time. And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Now Peter answered right. Because after after answering like this, Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Peter, Peter answered right by saying, you know all things. Because God is all-knowing. He knows our hearts. He knows that what we say on the outside may not be what's inside our hearts. And so many people claim they love the Lord. But then Jesus is pointing, do you love me more than this? Feed my lambs, tend my sheep, then feed my sheep first the lambs then tend my sheep then feed my sheep so this is all significant but look he's not pointing him to anyone he's not saying like he's saying do you love me more than this he called him he called him by name but he did not call anyone else by name he said do you love me more than this even john who calls himself the lord is beloved he didn't he did not call him by by, by name he did not say do you love me more than john no he said do you love me more than this 
Now this goes to the ministers. You're calling out people as false teachers. It is never your job to call out false teachers. Well, uh, by God's grace, I want to make another video again, just direct to that point. But I might, I can say about, I can talk about false teachers, and uh, because the the Lord warns us of them, but without calling out any name. So the Holy Spirit can guide whoever watches the video or whoever listens to the message. The Holy Spirit will guide them to questioning the spirit in which they come, but not questioning the people. The Lord never tells us, even in First John chapter four. He never tells, like uh, verse 1, he never tells us, uh, like, uh, test the, the people. No, he tells us, test the spirits. Don't just go with any spirit. So, test the spirits. How do you test the spirit? With the spirit of the Lord. So, it's not your part to call out false teachers. Just feed the Lord his sheep. Just tend his sheep. Some of you are even neglecting your own congregation just to go after someone whom you feel they are doing wrong. So, you've made it like a competition that you're doing right so you're going to attack whoever you think is doing wrong let them be just feed the lord his sheep if you love him more than anyone because they also claim they love the lord they also do whatever they do because they say yeah we love the lord we serve the lord we're doing god's job god's work and yeah they will set up uh, like any any scams any any schemes just to cut down people or to afflict them but those people need the holy spirit and he says, feed my sheep, because there are some of those sheep which choose to get lost. And some of them are not even sheep. They may, they, they may be goats, you know. But then why are you after them? Why are you after, like, trying to correct their way? Let them come to the way. Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and life. Whoever comes through me, no one goes through the Father, not unless through me. So they have to come through the Lord. And if you're preaching the truth, if you're feeding them the right feed, the, the, the right feed according to the Lord, because they are not your sheep, they are his sheep. So, the Lord is not calling you to identify whoever is wrong. The Lord is calling you to feed his sheep. God bless you.